everyone, my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. To continue my video series for the On Wings of Ash and Dust by Brittany Wang, I am now going to talk about book four and book five in this serial. Um, book four was Forest of Blood and book five was Cavern of Terrors, which comes out today. So, Forest of Blood. Quinn has always feared the Dryad Forest, now more than ever. With severe warnings from the Fairy Queen, and another trial fast approaching, Quinn thinks she's prepared to trek through the forest, especially with Alice leading the way. But when the heirs face unexpected dangers before the trial of life even begins, they learn there's much more to fear than the competition itself, and that they might need each other to survive it. Soon, Quinn is straddling the blurred lines between competitors and allies as she decodes the ancient tome with Hickory. Trains Vale, learns about Alice's power, and figures out her complicated relationship with Aaron. But Quinn has been betrayed before. As the fourth menacing trial gets underway, she must decide if she can learn to trust again or die trying. Like, these books get more and more where you're like, what is happening? Who can I trust? Is anyone going to survive? <laughs> um, on their way to the forest, they already encounter these, like, deadly goblin things. I forgot what they're called now, but um, they're, like, all ashed and, like, burnt looking and nothing that the forest is supposed to have and so you're like where did these things come from and you kind of figure it out in episode five someone poisons Quinn and she thinks it's someone but you learn it's someone else in episode five <laughs> Quinn decides to put her trust in people and let them in on everything that's going on and I'm just like so nervous for her because it's great for her arc she's not a trusting person so to put her trust out there She's growing, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't trust the people <laughs> she told it to. <laughs> Especially one person who, like, we're supposed to trust, and I'm just like, I don't know what you're going on behind the scenes. Like, I feel like he's hiding some stuff. So, I gave Forest of Blood five stars. I wrote, oh my gosh, Forest of Blood brings it. The mysteries pile on with what's happening in the world, the prophecy, and the competition. In this episode, we head to the Dryad Territory and learn more about Alice. So much more, you guys. So much more. And we learn even more in episode 5. Like, everything just builds and it's just ah, so good. Um, I can't even process my thoughts right now. The forest, the family dramas, the vision and dreams, and the conspiracies. Alice's older brother, he... Yeah. I, I'm so curious if he plays a role in the future. And I love her little sister. But yeah, you also learn more about the queen and like what she's uh, after. And um, but she's trusting a person that I don't think she should be trusting unless they're in and out, in on it together. But I feel like they're not. But like I don't trust her either. <laughs> so I don't know. Lots of not trusting going on. I have no idea what's happening. The plot twist, the moments that make you catch your breath, the page turning pace, like everything. I'm still so torn on who to trust and how it'll unfold. Yep. Um, I have so much I want to say and shout about, but it's all spoilery. Brittany does an excellent job with the world building, descriptions, and characters. Oh, oh my gosh. I love Quinn, Alice, and Hickory are like the dream team, and I still don't understand Vale and Aaron and why they keep going off together if like Aaron doesn't like her like that. Like I don't know what game she's playing, if she's just trying to get with him again, or like I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. Um, oh, that was book. That was episode five. The the cool library. I'll get there in a minute. Um, I'm trying to think on episode four. Uh, the trial itself was <laughs> intense. They um, are put already in a do or die situation as soon as it starts, and have these hallucinations and um, have to work together, and like which is like. You know, if they were actually competitors, they'd be like, you're going to die, bye. Um, so I'm glad that they pull together and help each other out. Um, and then, of course, like, Quinn does good. She does what the Queen wants. She didn't come ahead of Vale. Um, but she also shows, you know, how valuable life is. So that was good on her. Just, like, a lot gets exposed, and we finally get an Alice and Quinn conversation, which was really nice to get all of that out of there because Alice also has some tie to the ancient tome and the Numa symbol and all of that. You're just piling like stuff on stuff and I'm just, ah, oh, I can't. And like episode five didn't even like answer it all. Like episode six, I hope it's a big book, Brittany, because I need it to be a big book. <laughs> okay, before
before I go into like more spoilers, let me get to Cabin of Terrors. And I guess I can't really spoil, I can't talk too much about this one because it just came out, but whatever. The tunnels are not the only terrors Quinn will face next. The heirs have agreed to find Quinn's attacker, the one that tried to poison her, and decode the tome's ominous prophecy together. But their new alliance is tested at every corner as they enter the underground tunnels. Hickory's home in the Kobold City is an overwhelming maze of mystery, pixie dust machinery, and mayhem. And nothing compares with the challenges that await them in the next death-defying trial. As they prepare for the impossible task, Quinn uncovers dark truths about her past and her enemies, which only raise more questions that send her spiraling. If she hopes to survive this time, she'll have to face her demons and tame the fire inside. So, lots of uh, underground, behind the scenes, black market jazz is going on in, in Kobold City. Um, you find out more about Moonface and what he's up to and like how he did some stuff. Like, oh. um, and so, like, you learn about all of that, and, like, is there really a pixie dust shortage, or is it just some, like, uh, side stuff going down, like, and, like, why has no one caught on to that? Like, there's just, I have so many questions. Um, Cobalt City, I would, I'm, originally I was like, yeah, I want to be a kobold, like, creativity, yeah, 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 and I was like, I don't want to live in those caverns, and now, now going in there and seeing the world building descriptions, I was like, oh, heck no, I'd never want to go down there, um, but it's really cool how Brittany explains it all, and how steampunk it kind of is, um, and then you learn that Hickory's parents, or at least his dad, isn't, like, too keen on his, like, creativity, <laughs> into Hickory's room, which is a hot mess of a ton of stuff that he's collected, and oh my gosh, poor Hickory, I think, yes, no, Hickory in the fourth, in the fourth book, um, the, like, re reality or, um, gosh, I forgot what they say now, but, yeah, you, like, think something happened to him, and you're, like, devastated, <laughs> thankfully that gets resolved, but in this one, you find out that they are now, um, because things got boring down there, there's not much to do down there. They've now pitted prisoners against each other to fight for their freedom. Do they actually get free? Mm -hmm. Um, it reminded me of the 100 back when they had Blood Reina, is that who she was? Um, and they had to fight to the death or like be free or whatever. It kind of reminded me of that, but like on crack because you have a maze of death like that you have to get through first. Minus like all the other competitors who might try to kill you to reach the end first. Um, and we get reintroduced. We meet again someone from book one. And you just like pray that they're okay. It makes you wonder what happened to the rest of the pirates and what's going on over there and I don't know how Quinn's gonna tackle that in book six if they're next they're going to her territory next it's not like she can help everything that's going on in Cobalt City so um yeah there's just a whole lot going on and like maybe whoever becomes king or queen next can like work on cleaning all that up but I really don't think they're gonna get that far um because all the prophecy stuff is coming to a head as well they find out a little bit more about the numa stuff and how quinn might tie into it all and so i think she's going to be a big key part in book six and um i really think like we're going to see it all just like come together but because um they explained this so well good job Brittany, about how like too many books would make the vine collapse <laughs> up in um, Vale's territory up there, so they had to store an underground library in Cobalt City to hold all the rest of the books, and so they come across some down there. But my review, again, gave five stars. Seriously, love this series. And I wrote, holy smokes, so much is going on. I couldn't put this down with all the mysteries, new information, and stakes. So much tension and stakes. Oh my gosh. And also, Quinn pulls away a little bit this episode, and so um, you don't, yeah, you're like, who can I trust? What is happening? Like, will I even survive this? Like, she just tunnels. And again, again, Aaron. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about him <laughs> still. <laughs> he had her back, but like, I still don't know. Um, episode 5 takes us to the underground tunnels and caverns where we learn more about pixie dust and prisoners, find a grand library with critical info, and watch an old friend battle it out for freedom in a deadly maze. Basically, to recap everything I just said. Their next trial is just as deadly, and man, it was a nail-biter. What I wish we could see, and I don't know if Brittany feels like making this 
an extra where if you get POV of the other characters, but I would have loved to see how they handled the trial. Um, because you see Quinn, and like in my head, she didn't take like forever to get through the trial. Um, I guess the first, like there were stumbling blocks, and holy cow, like the like a thing that comes after her. Um, and then of course she got delayed once she got in the tower part, but I would love to see how the other competitors did it. I would just love to know, because you see at the end what place they all made, and then um, if they had injuries or not. And I would just love to have seen what they went through, if it was the same. I was like, I guess I could just ask you, Brittany, what did they have? get asked the same questions? Um, maybe they just did it better than Quinn did or not. Um, and then if they had to face anything in the tower, or if it was free sailing. Um, I'm so curious about that side, because before they've kind of been in it together. They've been where they could see each other do the trial, and so I was really curious how they got through it. The ending left me in shock on several accounts. So many things are up in the air, so many things I questioned. I was just like, oh my gosh, there's literally so much, so much that needs to happen in episode six. So many answers we need to learn, like, oh my gosh. Um, and yeah, so I think the final episode is going to be explosive. Like, I cannot wait. Seriously, if you have not picked the series up yet, like, do yourself a favor and do it. The next one comes out October 12th. So, um, you got some time to read through these if you haven't yet, and yeah, I'm so excited. And I know that Brittany's working on a paperback version of all these, so all these are little ebook episodes, and she's going to compile them into the paperback, which I cannot wait to get my hands on. I'm so curious how the front cover is going to look. I love all of these covers so far. So yeah, that's me gushing about this series. <laughs> um, let me know if you have any questions down below, or if you have read it, um, what your thoughts are, and I will... Gosh, I'll catch y'all in the next videos. The next ones coming out in October are going to be Preptober stuff, but I will have episode 6 in there. And then my thoughts on just like the whole series, um, any like um, theories or guesses that I had along the way, whether I was right or wrong, um, how I feel about the ending, and if there were any loose ends that still weren't answered, or things like that. I'm just going to do a big recap video. But um, Brittany has a lot going on on her channel as well. Um, an episode, an episode... A video a week <laughs> that's live so you can hang out with her live and talk about her books and yeah I just I love this whole process it's been so so good okay I'll catch y'all later bye